It's a night full of entertainment, and if you still need to find the perfect gift for dad, don't miss the third annual Jazz Spectacular Father's Day weekend, June 16th at the Michigan Lottery Amphitheater at Freedom Hill. Here to tell us all about this year's lineup is host and musician Alexander Zojek. Thank you Very for being nice. here. I tried, I tried. No, but it was good though. It <laughs> we had practiced. A, it had a little bit of Zojek. Even, yeah, it's, it's, more, it's more exotic than... This is a great gift idea. Yeah, it is. It is a good. You know, we have so many jazz fans in this area. Right. And it really is beyond jazz, you mm -hmm. know. But the idea to take Dad to Freedom Hill and to hear Kenny Lattimore and Paul Taylor and Michael Lincoln and I'll be there with my band and Avery Sunshine and Gregory Porter and Lonnie Liston Smith and Roy Ayers and the Gene. list goes on. Yeah, and the on. list goes on. It's their third one. New Day Entertainment has been doing this. Um, I'm thrilled not only to be playing, but when I'm finished performing, I'll be hosting. So, oh, uh, wow. But it's uh, festivals are so cool. Why do you think this is such a great gift for Dad for Father's Day? Oh, because it's the gift that just keeps on giving. <laughs> no, no. Be, well, obviously, let's start with the fact that we hope that Dad is a, a jazz fan uh -huh. or a music fan or right. an R&B fan. Right. And then it's just the idea of uh, all those hours of music. You get them out of the house. You know, you know, you know, the cliche is uh, it's almost cliche to say that Mother's Day is so much bigger than Father's Day. Mm -hmm. Don't you think? I know. I agree. You know, and uh, and here's a here's a here's a way for you to square up. <laughs> look, look at all those lovely pictures of all those great artists right there. And, you know, the venue is amazing. I mean, yeah. it's scenic, it's beautiful, yeah. it's a great day, yeah. right? Well, there are tickets way back on the lawn, and some people yeah. actually prefer that. I do, I know. Y you know, they like to get back there and stretch out. Bring a and picnic then blanket. Bring the picnic blanket, and then also there's all the, the, the chairs inside. But uh, for me, it's almost uh, the official outdoor uh, uh, festival season for me, because for us, from now until the end of September, we're no longer indoors, right? And and there's a there's a special there's a special vibe to performing outside. It's I a, it's agree. It's a different energy. I yeah. agree. What do you think is the big takeaway from a jazz festival? Well, you know what? Let me just say this about they're usually jazz festivals in name only mm. because if you look right. at uh, you look at Gene Carn and you look at Lonnie Listen, they're so crossover, you know. But uh, you know, it's culture, it's art. You know, it's one of the greatest art forms in the world. It's America's biggest export, you know. Jazz is America's okay. classical music. But there is a little more than that in there. There's R&B and there's vocals, lots of energy, you know. And, uh, and, and again, you mentioned, the, you mentioned the great venue. I have a special guest on my show okay. that I'm excited about who, uh, who I had here at WDIV a little while ago. Uh, he's, a, he's 11 years old. He's my piano player. Wow, yeah. 11 years young. Yeah, he's 11 years old. Uh, Justin Schultz is going to be with me. And Justin has become, he's become a bit of a phenomenon. He's been on all these other shows. I hope they're not competitive shows. He's been on Harry Connick shows. He's been on uh, uh, Steve Harvey's Little Big Shots. Oh, that's amazing. All right, well, yeah. thank you so much for being yeah. here early with us today. It is early, isn't it? And I can't wait to see that 11-year-old. That's going to be amazing. It's, it's gonna a be perfect great. Father's yeah. Day gift. You can find more information on the Jazz Spectacular over on the entertainment section of clickondetroit.com.